So farming legendaries is what we do. Today I bring you what in my opinion are 5 of the best farms this game offers. Well actually a few more than 5, but either way from watching this video you will see incredible farms and a farm for absolutely everybody. People who own the DLCs and people who don't. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, before we go any further, if you haven't already, consider joining my Discord linked within the video description. A place dedicated to Borderlands players with guides on all dedicated legendary drops, latest news, latest hotfix details, as well as LFG and trading channels for all platforms. Also, I do want to start a top 5 BR3 plays, but I need your guys' clips. So if you have anything amazing you think the world wants to see, anything from a WTF moment, a lucky loot drop, a funny moment, amazing builds and fast boss kills etc etc. Follow the rules you can see on screen now and submit clips to the email address on screen which is also linked within that video description. Ok so on to the video. So farming legendaries is what we love to do and today I bring you some incredible spots with a couple that might even be new to you. So let's get into it people. In at number 5 we have well actually in at number 5 we have a few great legendary farms. Now the reason we have a few here is because if I was to only put Grave Ward in at number 5, for sure for the most part many people would be happy with that. But for some people playing this game, believe it or not, they can't kill Grave Ward as consistently as you. And let's not forget it isn't all about you, you gotta think of others, well I do anyway. So in at number 5 we have a few spots in which you can farm, firstly Grave Ward, who is located upon Eden 6 within the floating tomb. This guy if you have a decent build and you can kill him consistently, he does have a decent drop rate for legendaries. Now he isn't the best anymore, those days are far behind us, but he still does drop a fair few, so kill him, quit out, load back in, rinse and repeat. Grave Ward drops for me between none and up to 6 or 7 per run. You just gotta get lucky. Another boss you can farm who drops a decent amount of legendaries and someone I often use is Gigamind who's located within the Meridian Metroplex upon Promethea. This dude is much easier to kill than Grave Ward and in my opinion drops just as many legendaries. So he might be worth your time checking out. Another great boss for those are legendaries is Captain Tron upon Athenus. This guy is also a walk in the park to destroy and drops a fair few legendaries also. Just stay clear of anything cryo and bring with yourself a decent shock weapon for his shield. Now truth be told, most bosses like the ones I mentioned in this game are decent legendary farms, it's just who you can kill quickest to make it more efficient. That's in reality the goal right here. So we're going to move on and in at number 4 we have the Slaughter Shaft. Now the Slaughter Shaft in reality requires you to have a decent build and weapon loadout to make it an efficient legendary farm. If you do indeed have those, you can accumulate many many legendaries here. And it's a popular place indeed to get them and I feel most already know about this. But for those who don't, this place can be crazy for that loot. Now the Slaughter Shaft is located within Pandora so check it out. The loot you can see on screen now, I will state, was just me from going from round 1 to 5 one time. And you can see there's quite a lot of legendaries here people. In at number 3 we have one of the newer spots, which was brought to me by my pal on my discord called Joza82. So credit to him for this. So this spot is actually a rare boss spawn location. The rare boss is called DJ Dead Skag. And this spot is located on the far end of the Splinterlands upon Pandora. So follow the route I take on screen now to get here. Now I know there is a current uh, loot drop event which if you play Borderlands with your buddies, it seems all baddest enemies will drop more loot. And because this spot has got a lot of badasses here, I thought there was some bug going down. But here I am 100% playing solo, so that event that's currently in play for co-op players to get more legendaries isn't coming into effect here. So as you can see this spot has a checkpoint outside which makes it much easier to farm via quitting out and loading back in. 
So what this place basically is, it's like a mini slot shaft, just not as intense. And it's full of semi-high level enemies, which all have a great chance in dropping that loot. I mean, if you check out this run, you see how much loot can actually drop here. And it doesn't end at the rare boss spawn either. There's another room behind where he appears, where you can go to and get even more legendaries, people. So yeah, kill away, check that loot, quit out and load back in. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay guys, so in at number 2 we have the also oh badass Legendary 230 farm. Now this is a farm I first posted ages back on my channel and it's still going good and strong. So Freddy is located on the handsome jackpot within the VIP tower. So to initiate the farm, you first have to clear out his room of robots. Then for some reason after you do this, Freddy can sometimes appear as a level 2 instead of what he would be now of a level 57 plus. And this level 2 Freddy is literally a level 2 enemy in every way. It only takes a couple of bullets to take him out. And the great part is people, he drops ridiculous amounts of legendaries and they drop according to your level, not his. And what's extra special about this farm is the fact you don't have to quit out and load back in. You can just simply fast travel back to the start of the VIP tower then run back up here and it will respawn at that level 2. Now upon you initially coming here, if you want you take out the robots he doesn't spawn in at a level 2, simply quit out and load back in and repeat the process. He will eventually become a level 2 and from that moment you can farm for as long as you like. And remember, this place drops all of Mox's DLC legendaries besides those dedicated drops, as well as non-DLC legendaries. So enjoy people. Number one guys is a new farm that arrived with the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC and in reality it's hard to compete with that level 2 Freddy farm but if any other legendary farm in the game right now can be more efficient it's this one right here. So upon Zaya Lagos you want to travel to the Heart's Desire then to the fast travel spot of what beats beneath and this is where that fun starts. So pushing slightly forward from this fast travel station you come across two enemies who I call Tom and Jerry. Here it is simple, just kill one then fast travel back to that what beats beneath fast travel station. Once you do, head back down here and both bosses respawn, kill one again and fast travel back. And this will indeed make those legendaries stack up like crazy. Be warned though, if you kill both bosses you will have to quit out and load back in for them both to respawn. So just make sure you kill one then fast travel back and just keep rinsing and repeating people and you will end up with stacks and stacks of legendaries. Just bring with you a powerful weapon to make it more efficient in killing one of the bosses and just farm away. This place again will drop all the new will drop DLC 2 guns, love and tentacles, exclusive legendaries as well as all non DLC legendaries. So have fun here people and get that loot. And that's it guys, 5 plus amazing legendary farms, one to sue everyone and I hope this helps everybody out. On that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next.
one.